Well, the Badgers come to New York City. It's almost a rule now that they're going to have down to the wire games. That was the case in their two games at Madison Square Garden in the Big Ten tournament. A five point win against Maryland and a chance to tie late against Michigan State. But the Spartans guarded the arc extremely well and Michigan State moved on with a 63 to 60 victory. Our Ryan Wing takes a closer look at the two games the Badgers played in this Big Ten tournament and we'll have our weekly conversation with head coach Greg Gar. All coming up on this week's edition of the Badger Sports Report. Davison puts it on the floor to the top of the circle, feeds half, cuts off the left wing. In the lane is Ethan, scoops it up right hand, good off the glass. First points for a half, half again against Schilling. On the left wing, back to Davison, deep three, left of the circle, tie game. Brad Davison, a three-point hit. Winston quickly the other way for the Spartans. Flips to Langford, his pass is deflected by Pretzel, stolen away by Davison. Thought he kicked it, but he didn't. And a lob into Iverson with a 180 slam dunk. Oh my goodness. What bounce from Khalil Iverson. Highlight reel slam dunk. One dribble, needs help, finds four, shot clock at seven. Davison's got to go to work. Little crossover, step back three, straight away, money. Love and the step backs. Brad Davison gives the Badgers a one point lead, 23 22. Davison to the front court for Wisconsin, high screen from half. Davison against Langford, wants a little space, now a throw to Ford right side. He'll try a three, good, much needed. Aleem Ford, his first points of the day, 38-35, Michigan State. Weavers, a pass for Pritzel, covered up by Winston. Brevin, right of the lane, back out to Davison at the top, rotates to Ford, left side, three in the air, good again! Second hit from distance for Aleem Ford, and we're tied at 38. Sends it to Davison high on the right, flips to half, deep in top of the circle. Soft bounce pass, Iverson, right wing. Goes inside, caught by half, low on the right, slam, dunk. Half flashing inside, gets rewarded. 45-44, Michigan State. Ford, checked by Bridges, a lean for three, left of the circle, and that's off the rim short. Rebound, batted around. Davison took it away from Langford. What a play by Brad. Outside left, bounce pass to half, left of the lane. Trying to move in on Jackson. Ethan turns baseline. On oh, the reverse, up, no good. Got his own rebound. Tries again, low in the right, up and in. It counts, and a foul. Inbounding to Davison. Clock running, 35 seconds to play. Davison, left side line of the front court. Brad left of the lane. He'll take it to the hole. Layup is good, and the Badgers are within three. 63-60, they're going to play on. Pass to Davison. Here we go, 17 seconds. Davison out high, ball screen from half, 14 seconds. Davison picked up the dribble, needs help, finds four. Down to 10, Davison gets it at half court, down to eight. Davison with seven, Davison with six. Left of the circle, throws to half, four seconds. Half, back to Davison with two, contested three is an air ball, that's it. And the Spartans do a great job of guarding the arc, and they win it by three. This is Wisconsin basketball. Stolen by Ethan Happ. Happ to the rim, and he hammers it down with the right hand. He'll drive to the goal and hammers it down. New York City, the Badgers are coming your way. This is left open, snaps off a three and drills it. Out the fourth, the three left of the circle, tie game. The Badger Sports Report is brought to you by hy V, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. hy V proudly supports the Wisconsin Badgers. At hy V Market Grill, you'll find something for everyone. Steaks grilled to perfection, delicious pasta, Wood oven flatbread pizzas and the burgers are the best in town. Plus, you've got to try our delicious Sunday brunch. And Hy-Vee Market Grills are next to Hy-Vee stores. So it's not like we're going to run out of food. It's good food, good times, and we love to see people smile. So get on into Hy-Vee Market Grill today. This is what collaboration looks like. This is what happens when a cardiologist in Appleton works step-in-step -step with specialists at UW Health in Madison. You see, when Terry's condition required a second opinion, his doctor turned to the cardiothoracic team at UW Health. Together, we made sure Terry got the care and the heart transplant he needed. Powerful minds, compassionate care, amazing results. UW Health, remarkable. 
Hi, this is Coach Greg Gard, inviting you to join the Badger Basketball Booster Club. As a member of the Booster Club, you will have the opportunity to participate in a variety of great events, including pregame chalk talks, golf outings, and an away game bus trip. The Boosters play a vital role in assisting our staff and student athletes through fundraising and sponsorship. For additional information on joining the club, please call 608-265-6161. There is no better way to show your support than to join the Badger Basketball Boosters. Family road trips just got a whole lot easier. The 2018 Nissan Rogue. Now with Nissan Intelligent Mobility, featuring technologies like available ProPilot Assist, which helps keep an eye on the road ahead and helps you stay centered while you're turning this lane into memory lane. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. For the first time since 1998, the NCAA tournament will be contested without the Wisconsin Badgers in it. That's a bitter reality that set in after Wisconsin's 63-60 loss to Michigan State in the quarterfinals of the Big Ten tournament here at Madison Square Garden. It's not easy, you know, it's only 64 teams out of how many there are. Um, obviously, we're disappointed that we couldn't keep it alive, but, you know, it's, it's not for lack of effort. And, you know, it stinks just because, you know, I, I came here and I wanted to be a part of that. Wisconsin tradition, um, you, you feel like you kind of let people down with it. Um, and you know, people say we had injuries, and we had all they'll make excuses for us, but we today, in the last month, we've proved that we're in a subway tournament team, and that's what makes us sting even more. I think it took us a while to gather ourselves together, especially the injuries that happened early in the year, and kind of put everything together. And you saw it late in the year where we went five of seven, or whatever we went these mm -hmm. last seven. You see that we have the talent, we have the skill to go win games, beat anybody, and <coughs> it's expanding upon that that we have to do a better job of. With their youth and the promise Wisconsin showed at the end of this year, the Badgers are excited for what next season holds. And we beat Purdue and we played Michigan State close twice. And it just shows us, and we have pretty much everyone coming back next year for the most part. So there's no reason why we can't be competing for a Big Ten championship next year. If we can compete with anybody, then if we just keep staying on the right track and don't get complacent, we could be a really good team. It's going to be a great team next year. You know, I'm extremely excited. We're going to have, hopefully, uh, have everyone back. Um, people will be healthy. Um, and like I said, we're going to have this taste in our mouth that no other Wisconsin team's ever had. And that gives us an opportunity to be special. It gives us an opportunity to, to have a great story to tell bounce back season and you know we're all for that start right away. I want to be playing tomorrow. Um, I, I'm excited for what the, the future holds and I know that these guys are excited too and I know um, it's gonna be hard to get these guys out of the gym even though taking some break and rest here for the next couple weeks or so but um, I'm definitely excited for what this team has in the future. Coming up next on the Badger Sports Report with Greg Gard, we'll take a look back at Wisconsin's win over Maryland in the second round of the Big Ten Tournament. This is Lexi Rush. She's 10, and she's amazing. You see, Lexi was born deaf and couldn't hear anything. That was until her doctor in Appleton referred her to the pediatric specialists at UW Health in Madison. Now, two operations later, Lexi can hear everything. Powerful minds, compassionate care, amazing results. UW Health, remarkable. Fritzel throwing to Brad Davison, loops it in to half. Single coverage from Bruno Fernando. Half left block, trying to back in. Morcel trying to double, half turns baseline and scores with a left hand. Davison, 12 on the shot clock. Brad between the circles. Full screen from half. Davison refusing it. Right foul line extended. Contested jumper, good over Herder. Wow. Nothing wrong with the defense, but Davison was a little better with the shot. Aaron on the left wing, loops it into Reavers. 
Left of the lane is Nade, backing in, mid post left, turns to the block, goes up and in. Reavers with four, and it's 39-35, Wisconsin with 14.08 to play. Baseline rival inbound, throws to Ford, right corner three in the air, short no good, gets his own rebound to the rim, goes up, missed it. Iverson the rebound, back up and in, it counts and a foul. Now Cowan, right of the lane, covered up by Khalil Iverson. Cowan retreats, leaves it for Hurdle. Is it the Morcel left of the lane, runs into Davison, offensive foul, there it is. He's tried twice, didn't get it, this time he did. Pritzel against Herter, Maryland extending in the half court, half throwing to Iverson, left wing. He feeds Pritzel, Brevin at the top, long two, straight on, short, long rebound, Iverson, re rack for Wisconsin, one minute to play, 27 to shoot, tied at 53. Huge offensive rebound for the Badgers. Davison for three, right of the circle. It's off the rim, no good. Half the rebound on the left side. Now Davison has it against Herter. Brad right lane line stops. Out to Pritzel, up top for two, good! Trevin Pritzel along two. 55-53, Wisconsin with 27 seconds left. Jan Wiley, sideline right, will inbound. Looking in the Herter, knocked away by Iverson on the run out with three, with two, with one. 0.8 seconds left, and Iverson gets fouled. Khalil Iverson with the steal, and now a chance to seal it in New York City. As it says here at Madison Square Garden, March is on. For the Badgers, their march continues as they survive in advance, defeating Maryland 59-54 in the second round of the Big Ten Tournament despite only shooting 36% from the floor. Extremely happy for our guys, uh, the way they've responded um, throughout the back half of the season here. They just keep, continue to get better and better. Um, and I think today's game was a kind of an epitome or a microcosm of how we've grown when you're able to hold, you only shoot 30 some percent for the game, but you get to the line that many times and you do the job defensively that we did, take care of the ball, rebound the way we rebounded. Um, I'd say it's a credit to these guys to my right and then also the guys back in the locker room. Um, how they've grown over the last month has been, uh, it's been fun to watch and uh, hopefully we got a lot more, lot more basketball yet to play. The biggest change for UW the past month or so has been on the defensive end. It culminated by holding Maryland to 44% shooting and a key steal by Khalil Iverson to ice the victory. In my head I knew they would probably try to go to Herder and so there was like a little down screen and he kind of like didn't finish his cut, I guess, I don't know. He just stopped me. and they tried to throw him the ball. And I just stole it. The stuff that Brevin and Khalil are doing aren't really going to show up in the stat sheet. You know, obviously Khalil gets some big rebounds at times, but Brevin's out there diving on the floor for a lot of loose balls, causing jump balls. Um, Khalil is, is doing a really good job defensively. We usually put him on their best, best wing player, and he's done a really nice job there. More than scoring, I look at like how we rebound because if we rebound, you can tell the difference. If everybody's getting two, three, four rebounds, like I think today we had six, seven, eight, five, or whatever we had, you can see that the, everybody's engaged defensively, and then you know offense is going to come from it. If you're left in the game defensively and get down those balls, the scoring will come, just like Coach Kern said all year. We told those guys at the, I think it was three, a little over three minutes, the last media timeout, we said the team that wants it more uh, is going to win this game, and when you get those type of offense rebounds, that's the team that wants it more. For the past seven games, Brad Davison has written two words on the whiteboard in the team's locker room. Be special. It's worked, as the team has won five of their last seven. We've been through a lot this year, and I think that it would be extremely special to do what we're about to do. You know, we're very excited for the opportunities that we have, and again, we get to play 40 more minutes, and that's another opportunity to be special out there. We did go through kind of a struggle early in the year, um, but, you know, I think we've learned from it. And, you know, we, the playoffs, you kind of get a clean slate. You kind of start over 0-0. Zero and zero, And I keep telling the guys that, you know, didn't start the way we wanted, but we, have, we control our own destiny and we can, we can write our own story. Um, and so we think that we can have a great story to tell. For the Badgers Sports Report with Greg Gard, I'm Ryan Wing. At Hy-Vee Market Grill, you'll find something for everyone. Steaks grilled to perfection, delicious pasta, Wood oven flatbread pizzas and the burgers are the best in town. Plus, you've got to try our delicious Sunday brunch. And Hy-Vee Market Grills are next to Hy-Vee stores. So it's not like we're going to run out of food. It's good food, good times, and we love to see people smile. So get on into Hy-Vee Market Grill today. Family road trips just got a whole lot easier. The 2018 Nissan Rogue. 
Now with Nissan Intelligent Mobility, featuring technologies like available ProPilot Assist, which helps keep an eye on the road ahead and helps you stay centered while you're turning this lane into memory lane. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. Most people don't know that UW Health and the University of Wisconsin are national leaders in the field of kidney transplant. They provide new life for those who will likely die without a transplant. And they assure normal life for those who donate. I would know I donated a kidney and together we saved a life. UW Health, remarkable. Hi, this is Coach Greg Gard, inviting you to join the Badger Basketball Booster Club. As a member of the Booster Club, you will have the opportunity to participate in a variety of great events, including pregame chalk talks, golf outings, and an away game bus trip. The Boosters play a vital role in assisting our staff and student athletes through fundraising and sponsorship. For additional information on joining the club, please call 608-265-6161. There is no better way to show your support than to join the Badger Basketball Boosters. He'll throw it to Van Vliet, fakes the three, back to Davison against Langford, 15 to shoot. Davison holds and looks, puts it on the floor. Oh, flip the pass into Reavers inside. Slam dunk, Nate Reavers. What a look from Davison, Badgers up three. So shot clock is at five, Brad's gotta go to work, left of the lane, leans in, tough shot, good off the glass. From the Marriott Marquis, New York City, that's where we're coming to you for this week's edition of the Badgers Sports Report. Greg, uh, your, your guys left it all out there, as a coach would say. The game, let's, let's start first with a Maryland game. Uh, you guys have had a lot of these either-or games early in the year not going your way, late in the year. You had you had some go your way. They just, in a day where they shoot 36% from the field, they still find a way to advance. Yeah, and I think that's the unique thing about this group and how they've grown over the last 30 days about, you um, know, two areas are offensively taking care of the ball and the turnover numbers have drastically reduced, been reduced. And uh, you know the other thing is points per game given up defensively. I mean we've we've cut teams scoring totals or scoring averages by 15 to 18 a game. And that was another example of us, you know, playing the way Wisconsin needs to play, playing the way that this group is growing into to uh, being. And and obviously what's important for us, and it just shows that even if you don't shoot it well, like you mentioned, 36 percent, you take care of the ball. You do a good job on the glass, and uh, you do a good job defensively. You can, and we got to the free throw line a ton, so that those things can add up and, and always give you a chance. You talk about the work on the glass there. There were two huge offensive rebounds in that final minute of the, of the Maryland game, and add all that up, and Brevin Pritzel has a good look at a, at a two, but it's that work on the glass. And again, it's not always Hap and Davison. Other guys get involved. Right, right they do. Cleo had a big one. Um, so yeah, there was a lot of contributions and obviously be able to shoot the line that well, 20 of 24 and I think eight of eight in the last three minutes. That was big because obviously that's a team that, uh, you know, a little over a month ago, we had a hard time closing out a game in Maryland and didn't get it done. And to show the growth and how they've uh, come a long ways in that last month is, is good to see. In the second game against Michigan State, it, it, it's hard for anybody to shoot well against the Spartans or field goal percentage defense like 36%. You guys were well above that. You're able to Get some good looks, or even the contested looks, and that's that's how you have to stay in it with a team that good defensively. Right? You do, you do, and you have to be able to hold your own. I think the one area where we didn't hold our own um, was on the defensive glass. We gave up too many second chances. You know, to, to that gave them extra possessions, whether they scored off it or not. It was just another possession we had to guard, and I think obviously Thursday started to affect Friday a little bit. The deeper we got in that game, in terms of of uh, playing the day before and the fatigue factor, but. Uh, yeah, they did. Our guys battled. They go toe to toe with one of the nation's, you know, top teams this year, in within a week span, and have a chance to win it down the stretch and have a chance there to tie it at the end. Was, uh, you know, this group has come a long ways in, in the last 30 days, and this last week is a big example of it. Yeah, that's a, that's a great point because you guys did sustain it. It wasn't like there was a really good performance and then a drop off. You look back ever since Super Bowl Sunday, the game against Maryland, where they made the plays to their credit late. You guys took everybody pretty much to the limit. We did, and you know, even before we really got on this run, um, you know, I thought we had had some chances down the stretches of the games. But as I told the team after after the game against Michigan State, right now you are playing like an NCAA tournament team. Unfortunately, we didn't take care of enough business in early December. 
that bad stretch in January and the first part of February cost us. Um, but you know, a lot of teams nationally would have would have waved the towel or thrown in the towel. This group chose not to do that, um, and that's a credit to our players or how they bonded and grew together and just kept getting better and better. A team that nobody really wanted to play here in the postseason. <laughs> um, we just unfortunately didn't weren't able to get it done for enough possessions. And you guys get the vast majority of the minutes back. I don't want to forget TJ Schlunt, Matt Ferris, and Aaron Mesh, all guys who have had tremendous contributions to the program. But you look at the guys coming back, plus it's kind of a recruiting class in and of itself with Trevor Anderson, Demetri Trice, and Kobe King. I would think that this program has a lot to look forward to. It, it does. I, I think this year has been, although it's been very painful uh, to go through, to watch the growth and watch some things kind of get back to Wisconsin-like basketball, and because uh, we had so many, so many upperclassmen dominate the time over the last, not only the last year, the last two years, it's been going back to the last four. So it's kind of been a resurgence, so to speak, or a new line of guys coming through here that having to learn on the fly. Usually they get to learn behind juniors and seniors. We had a bunch of, you know, a couple juniors and uh, a sophomore and a bunch of freshmen have to learn on their own with not, uh, you know, with not a lot of upperclassmen ahead of them. So, like I said, although very painful, I think a very rewarding and, and a growing year and something that will definitely, finishing how we finished, I think, obviously shows us what we can do and what we can be, but also to, not have it end where we want it to end and, and to have your season uh, stopped, uh, I think gives them a, a great hunger for next year. And going into the off season, that's exactly what we need. I yeah, would think when they go in their workouts, the one, they need that extra push. They think about that. I know we've talked about this before, but as much fun as it's been to watch Brad Davidson, it's probably going to be more fun to watch him with two healthy shoulders. Right? Yeah, he'll get that fixed right away here uh, as we get back. And uh, you know, have a long rehab, and that's a pretty that's a pretty in depth uh, surgery. And the more I've learned about it, in terms of uh, it, it's remarkable that he's played through what he's got. So it's I've never been around a kid that's done what he's done and, and played through that. So we look forward to obviously getting him healthy, along with getting uh, Dimitri and Kobe back and Trevor ready to go. But our other guys, our returning guys, going to need to take a step forward, and, and we will. I think this, like I said, this experience, even though at least it leaves a little bad taste here right now, um, they know how, where they need to go to step forward. All right, a lot of promise with this program moving forward, the way it played here in this last month. I think there is a ton to look forward to with Wisconsin basketball. Coach Guard returns in a few minutes with a great day and great question of the week. Stick around. Family road trips just got a whole lot easier. The 2018 Nissan Rogue. Now with Nissan Intelligent Mobility, featuring technologies like available ProPilot Assist, which helps keep an eye on the road ahead and helps you stay centered while you're turning this lane into memory lane. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. At Hy-Vee Market Grill, you'll find something for everyone. Steaks grilled to perfection, delicious pasta, wood oven flatbread pizzas, and the burgers are the best in town. Plus, you've got to try our delicious Sunday brunch. And Hy-Vee Market Grills are next to Hy-Vee stores, so it's not like we're going to run out of food. It's good food, good times, and we love to see people smile. So get on into Hy-Vee Market Grill today. A pulse. Felt by one. Sends a ripple, felt by some. A shiver, felt by many. Until it amplifies, magnifies, into a tremor that electrifies. Badgers everywhere, moving as one, tilting the world on its axis. This is what collaboration looks like. This is what happens when a cardiologist in Appleton works step-in-step -step with specialists at UW Health in Madison. You see, when Terry's condition required a second opinion, his doctor turned to the cardiothoracic team at UW Health. Together, we made sure Terry got the care and the heart transplant he needed. Powerful minds, compassionate care, amazing results. UW Health, remarkable. The Badger Sports Report is brought to you by UW Health, UW Health Sports Medicine, the healthcare team for the Badgers. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org.
Time for this week's Great Day and Great Question of the Week. We check in with Kimberly over in Milwaukee. Just wants to know, Coach, generally speaking, what is the, what's the off-season plan for these guys? When are, they, when are they good to go for as far as working out again? Well, they'll get, they'll get some time off. Thanks for your question, Kimberly, by the way. But uh, they'll get some time off here as we get back to Madison. And we'll have uh, spring break coming up here. They'll have some midterms coming, obviously, around spring break. And then as we get to the latter part of March, we'll ramp it back up here with individual workouts, team workouts, and do some things. And it'll be a lot of skill development. And then, obviously, the weight training. That'll start big and, and, and heavy here with Coach uh, with Coach Helen coming here at the latter part of March. We'll, we'll give him a couple, you know, probably a good two weeks here. I haven't really sat down with the calendar and looked at that. There's some NCA rules we have to follow, too, in terms of number of days off. So uh, we'll get a little break here, but also uh, turn the page and, and get ready for next year. Yeah, it's going to be fun to watch guys like Nate Reavers, who showed a lot of good things this year. Imagine when he gets a a little bit more meat on his bones, how much better he will be as his career moves on. Kimberly, thanks for your question. The Great Dane with the location up in Wausau, four in the Madison area, the uh, downtown location, the east side of town, Fitchburg as well as Hilldale. I want to thank the good folks at the Great Dane Hilldale for hosting Coach Guard's radio show throughout the season. Still more programs to come as we go through the month of March. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. Every division, every sport, the Learfield Directors' Cup. The prestigious award continues its reign as the crowning achievement in college athletics. To follow your favorite team, like us on Facebook, find us online and on Twitter. The Learfield Directors' Cup. Family road trips just got a whole lot easier. The 2018 Nissan Rogue. Now with Nissan Intelligent Mobility, featuring technologies like available ProPilot Assist, which helps keep an eye on the road ahead and helps you stay centered while you're turning this lane into memory lane. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. A pulse, felt by one, sends a ripple, felt by some, a shiver, felt by many, until it amplifies, magnifies, into a tremor that electrifies, badgers everywhere, moving as one, tilting.